Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. This morning, we are flying out to Seattle for our seven-night Alaskan cruise adventure. We are both very excited. We have both been counting down the days, and I can't believe the day is finally here because we have been planning this for a very long time. Now, we are flying out to Seattle a few days prior to our actual embarkation day just because we want to get ahead of the time change, and we also want to explore Seattle because we both have never been. Like, we want to go check out the first ever Starbucks and, of course, the Space Needle, and we'll see what else we can get into. Also, we are flying first class on Delta. We have never flown first class ever, so this is going to be very exciting, and I can't wait to experience it. Also, by the way, I'm actually filming this the night prior because our flight is at 6.30 in the morning, and we have to leave the house around 4.30 a.m., and we are both not morning people. So if you know, you know. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Goodbye, my loves. I will be missing each and every one of you. Not going to lie. I've been a bit stressed out over the last few days just because I have never left any of my fish tanks alone for this long. But I'm about to set up my ring camera that way I can drop in and see what they're up to anytime that I feel like it, which that's a good thing. I do have somebody coming over while we're gone to take care of them. So I'm not going to be as worried, but I love these guys. Anyway, I gotta go because I still have to finish packing and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, good morning from the Orlando International Airport. We actually made it on time this morning. It was not a struggle at all. However, going through security here at MCO was a pain, like it usually is. But now, we're waiting for a flight. We're heading to LAX first, and then over to Seattle. And away we go. Wow, we just made it to our seats, and look at these monitors. They're huge. It's like I have my own iPad Pro right here. And then they gave us a pillow, a blanket, there's two waters waiting for us right now. And I mean, just look at the amount of space that I have. Here's some additional storage right there. There's Bianca. You ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> There's also a USB port and an outlet here. There's a food tray here. And then one thing that I love about Flying Delta, they have so many movies to watch. They did give us headphones, but because this aircraft is so new, I'm actually able to connect my Apple headphones. There's also a little cubby here, and there's a place where you can store your water. Well, hello, Los Angeles. It is good to be back, but we're only here for about an hour until we make our way to Seattle. Don't worry, we will be back very, very soon. All right, I have to say that was the best flight experience that I've ever had in my life. The seats were just beyond comfortable. The in-flight service was amazing. I was able to have a nap and usually I never sleep on flight, so that should just tell you how comfortable those seats were. I loved the library of movies that you had on Delta. 
And I know first class can be pricey, but if you book four out in advance like we did, you can really find some great deals. And I got to sip on a few mimosas. The food was pretty decent for in-flight food. I was pretty impressed. We only have about 20 minutes until we board our next flight out to Seattle. I will say it is killing us right now, knowing that we're only about 45 minutes away from Disneyland and about, I don't know, 30 minutes away from Super Nintendo World. Ah, I know, let's, can we make it in 20 minutes? <laughs> well, I just about had a heart attack here inside of LAX because I forgot my Apple AirPods Max on the flight. Luckily, the flight attendants found them. Thank goodness, because I love these headphones. This is what I use to edit and listen to music and use every day. One more time. I will say, I feel like we have a little more privacy on this flight. It's not as nice and new like the Neo aircraft that we just got off of, but just blown away because I'm so comfortable. Oh my goodness, that's one of my suitcases. The first one out. <laughs> It's legit the first one. We have made it here to Seattle and it feels so good to finally be here. The flight was very good, very comfortable. We both were able to take another nap, but our first stop is here at Starbucks because we need coffee. The coffee on the flight really wasn't too good. Washington State. We're here. So we're getting coffee, picking up our bags, and I think we're going to take the train to our hotel. Just because, why not? Check Another in. adventure, right? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Check in isn't until 4 p.m. It's about 12.30. We're actually 30 minutes early. We got our coffee. Cheers, yes. babe. And it tastes like really good. <laughs> like yeah. a lot better. Dang, they even have a Starbucks vending machine here. By the way, they just have so many Starbucks locations throughout this airport. It's pretty insane. We got all of our baggage and now we are going to follow the signage to lead us to the Link Light Rail train to Seattle. I really appreciate all of the signage throughout the airport. Baggage claim was right here. And now we are going to take this escalator up and head over to the Link Light Rail station. Right over there was baggage claim in the escalator that we took up. We walked across this bridge here and we are now walking through the parking garage. And again, they have plenty of signage pointing you in the right direction. They do offer a free shuttle service that will take you from the airport to the train station. It's a, maybe about a 10 minute walk. I think we're just gonna walk it, but the hours are from 5 a.m. until midnight. That was more like maybe a seven minute walk, not too bad at all. We are now here at one of the kiosks about to purchase our tickets. I really feel like I'm back in Japan right now because it's exactly the same. It's familiar so the, to you. Very. Yeah. So the kiosk is very easy. You just choose your destination or it just says take it to Westlake, which that's where our hotel is. One way or you can book round trip. Three dollars each for adults, 18 and under, free. So the grand total, six bucks. I like it. Compared to Uber cost for renting yeah. a car, yeah. not bad at all. We made it. That was super easy. And now we are just waiting for our train to arrive. And then we have the airport right over there. Something to keep in mind, these trains depart every 10 minutes from the airport. I found a map. We are here at the Seattle airport and we have to take it all the way up until we get to Westlake. Perfect timing. Look at this train. This is pretty cool. So we have 12 stops until we reach our destination, which is about 50 minutes. We're okay with it because check-in isn't until 4 p.m. It's 1.30 right now, so we have plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to show you. They have areas where you can store your baggage. Yeah. And now we're just hanging out, taking in the scenic view <laughs> on our way to Seattle, yes. or the downtown area. Yes. Just like that, we are here at the Westlake stop. We are going to head up this escalator 
and then we should be right in the city. When you see the Nordstrom, you know you're in the right place. We just walked out of the Westlake Center and look at this. We are now in downtown Seattle. We made it to our hotel, about to check in. All right, we have made it to our hotel room. We actually were able to check in a lot earlier than expected. It's about what, 2.45 right now? 2.37. 2.37 right now. That was less than a 10 minute walk from the train station to get here to the hotel. I love the location so far. There's a ton of stuff, ton of restaurants, a ton of shopping, and just a ton of everything around the hotel. So I feel like I picked a really good location. I believe Pike Place Market is not that far away either. And we're gonna explore that all day tomorrow. Tonight, not really sure what we're doing, but we have options. I do wanna to mention today has been the smoothest travel day that we have ever had. Delta was amazing. The Seattle airport was amazing. The train station was amazing. People around the train station are very kind, very nice. They have a ton of like police officers and security always walking around. So we were able to stop and ask a few questions and they pointed us in the right direction. I did not even have to use Google Maps to get here. That's how easy it was. But for now, let me show you the room. This is a king standard room. There's your front door and then your bathroom. There's your toilet, your sink. I like this mirror with the lighting around it. And then down here you have a hair dryer, a few glasses, soap, body lotion, and then you have cotton swabs in there. Check out this shower. This is a massive stand-up shower. I like this a lot. Then you have your shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner. I do wish it had a rain shower head. But that's okay. From the bathroom, you have your closet space with a safe, an extra pillow and a blanket, plenty of storage, hangers, an iron, an ironing board, and then across you have your thermostat, and then you also have a full length mirror. They do offer dry cleaning and laundry, and then they have a robe. Moving from the closet, you can find a little kitchenette with a coffee maker here. You have four bottles of water, which are included. The other two are down here, cold already inside of the mini refrigerator. You have a ice bucket here. And then here's the rest of the room. This king bed looks very comfortable, not going to lie. I am ready for a nap after our long travel day from Orlando. And then you have your telephone, a pen, and a notepad. And then over here you have a really nice size TV and some more additional storage space. Then you have a office desk over here. They do have a room service menu. And then you have a little chair and table right here. Also, I love that this room has a sound maker for sleep. I love this. I have one at home. This is a huge plus for us. You also have a JBL speaker. Not seeing any USBs other than these two right here, but you have plenty of outlets around. Well, never mind. There's actually two USB ports on the JBL speaker. This is our view from our hotel room for the next few days. Can't really see too much, but we are in the heart of downtown Seattle. What's down here? A green roof retains up to 75% of rainwater, reducing stormwater runoff. And that's our room. I really like the room so far. I love this hotel, love the area, but it's going on 3 p.m. now. I think we are just going to take a cat nap because we are exhausted and then get some food, maybe do some exploring this evening. I'm not really sure, but tomorrow, like I said, is our big day to explore Seattle a little bit. A few hours later, we just decided to order Uber Eats. We ordered from a place called Marination because it has a Hawaiian twist on their food and we loved Hawaiian food when we were in Hawaii in 2021. We got a few different things. I got the Kalua pork fried rice and then this looked very interesting. It was looks it called, it was called a lot the Korean different. Philly cheese it's steak. It's the Korean Philly cheese steak with like kimchi, jalapenos, it's on a roll. Bianca got fresh tater tots. That's my fried rice. And then what did you get, babe? I got the Kahlua pork sliders, and then I asked for the slaw and the sauce on the side. Yeah, and then also look, our drink that I we loved in Hawaii. I love this, so good. Let's dig in, I'm starving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that 
was so good. It was very tasty. I highly recommend that place. I especially enjoyed the Kahlua pork fried rice. I mean, that was amazing. Did you like yours, babe? Amazing. Yeah. 10 out of 10. I felt like I was in Hawaii. Same. <laughs> Eating. <laughs> Don't sleep on that place. I can't wait to eat more tomorrow because let's be honest, Seattle, they're kind of known for their restaurants around town. Can't wait. Fresh seafood. Fresh seafood. What do you want tomorrow? The clam chowder. The New England clam chowder. It's going to happen. <laughs> I do think we're just going to stay in tonight. Yes. Get some rest. Maybe walk around the hotel. I'm not going to make any promises, but I am exhausted. This bed is comfortable. Really enjoyed the shower. So we're just going to relax. Good morning. It is pretty early for us but we went down to the main lobby because we heard they have a fantastic bagel shop called 08 Bagel Shop, and this is what we got. It looks really good. What a view to have a morning workout. Downtown Seattle. This is such a fantastic gym, by the way. They have everything that we need. They also have cold towels, towels, and headphones if you need. They also have a spa inside of the hotel and they have an indoor pool with a view. So you enter the women's locker area and they have a scale and I see some bathrooms, very fancy with the doors. And then we have our sinks. They have cotton swabs, feminine products, deodorant spray, mouthwash, lockers, they have showers. This is so nice. The sauna. Oh, it's so warm in here. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I love it. We have a steam room. Oh, wow. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, steam. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my, if you're congested, it has like a menthol thick smell to it. It's really nice. Good morning. By the way, those bagels were very delicious. I love them. Seattle knows how to make a good bagel. Yes. I've been blown away by the quality of the food so far, and we still have so much more to taste on this <laughs> adventure here in Seattle. How are you liking the room so far? I love it. It's quiet. Mm, it is. It's luxurious. I feel like I'm at the Waldorf Astoria. Yeah. It's really nice here, guys. It's lovely. I highly recommend this hotel. Yeah. This, <laughs> the service has been awesome. We love the gym. We had a fantastic yes. workout. The steam room was great. The sauna was great. You don't have to pay extra for that. Yeah, it's, it's included. It's all included. It's so nice here. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's been great. Um, so now we are going to start today's adventure. Yes. We are going to walk over to Pike Place Market to experience that and to check out the first ever Starbucks, the original yes, Starbucks. How exciting. We do need to find a Target. I think there's a Target down the road here. Also, really quick, I am so happy that we decided to fly in two days prior to our embarkation day. I know. We were day. originally going to fly in the day of, but yeah. I think that would have been a horrible idea. Flights could have got delayed. I know. So we came in two days early to kind of acclimate with the time change mm -hmm. and to, you know, get some much needed rest for this adventure yeah. that we're going I'm on. I'm so happy because <laughs> we were both just exhausted. Yeah. So that's why we just relaxed we chose to do nothing last night we ordered uber eats and slept and we watched the lakers game we watched the <laughs> lakers get their butts whooped last night and now we're off to our adventure yay all right let's go let's go we have made it outside and i feel like we can breathe a lot better here in seattle it's a little chilly but it's great weather for me it's hoodie weather and that's my favorite type of weather it is 58 degrees right now that's our hotel behind us. And now we're just walking straight until we get to Pike Place Market. It's about a 10 minute walk from this hotel. So babe, what time did you wake up this morning? Oh gosh, 4.30 a.m. <laughs> oh, I woke up gosh. maybe around 5.45, 6. We made it. There's the public market. And then over here you have Post Alley. I really want to see somebody throw a fish here. That's the thing to do here, right? That's a must see. Look at the fish. And then over here, they have fresh fruit, fresh crab. 
Bianca found this place that has fresh bread and fresh pastries. Three Girls Bakery. Three Girls Bakery. Yeah. So yummy. I love croissants. We made it to the main entrance here. I never thought I would get the chance to be here, and I'm here today. This is awesome. We are now right outside of the original Starbucks. The first ever Starbucks ever. I'm here right now. This is pretty cool. There is a lengthy line. We're just gonna hop in it because we both really wanna do this. I can smell the coffee. We are getting very close. The line has been moving at a really good pace. I think we've been in line for maybe 20 minutes. We are inside of the original Starbucks. Check it out. There's so much merchandise for purchase. And then they have two exclusive drinks to this store. Here's some of the merchandise. I like the colors. Oh, look at this. It says the first Starbucks store, Pike Place Market. Oh, nice. They have You Are Here mugs for Pike Place. I am going to definitely buy one of these for myself. We got the goods, and now we're in line waiting for our drinks. Ooh, they have olive oil coffee, and then over here, you can purchase the olive oil that they use. Let's have a cheers, babe. Cheers. This coffee is phenomenal. I don't know what they do that's different here. I don't know if it's the water that they use or just how they make their coffees here, but I mean, this is, this is life right here. <laughs> so dang good. Our next stop on today's adventure brings us here to Pike Place Chowder because Bianca wants some New England clam chowder. I'm debating if I want to try my first ever Connecticut style lobster roll. It's served warm. I've never had a lobster roll, but I'm a huge fan of lobster. Bianca says I should get it. By the way, if you want to check out the menu, feel free to scan this QR code. Well, this place must be good. And here we are. Bianca got her New England clam chowder, and then I am trying the Connecticut hot lobster roll. Dang. Thank you, babe. She told me I would like it. I was 50-50. I'm glad I ordered this because it is amazing. Some of the best lobster that I've ever had right here. This is pretty disgusting. They call this the bubblegum wall. Ew. But I mean, I guess it's art. There's bubble gum everywhere here. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Who thought of this? Look at this view of the bay and the pier. There's the wheel. And then over here are some of the cruise ships. You can't really see from this angle, but they're over there. And then the water back there. That's uh, a lot of pigeons right here. They're not afraid of humans, I'll tell you that. No, they are not. <laughs> Our next stop on today's adventure brings us to Target. This is a very different and unique Target. I wanted to mention, not too far away from our hotel, we have the Seattle Center monorail, and the monorail will get us over to the Seattle Space Needle. I don't know if we will have time to make our way over there, but it's still very cool that it's here, and it's right by the Westlake Center where the train station is. For our next stop, we are here at the Daily Dozen Donut Company to get a half a dozen cinnamon mini donuts. They look fresh and tasty. These are the bomb.com. They're really hot. Wow. <laughs> next up, one of my personal favorites, an affogato. If you don't know what this dessert is, this is an Italian dessert. You get it with either gelato or ice cream. 
In our case, we got vanilla ice cream and then they put espresso on the top of it. It is very, very good. We have now made our way over to the pier. That is the Great Will right behind me. It has started to rain, but it's not like pouring. It's a nice mist right now. By the way, this is our hotel. It's extremely tall. All right, my friends, we just made it back to our hotel room. We had so much fun here in Seattle. Honestly, I could use another day or two just because there's so much to do here in Seattle. It kind of stinks we never made it out to the Space Needle, but from everything I've been hearing from our conversations with some locals, it's a tourist trap, so I don't feel that bad for missing it. But let me tell you guys, the coffee here in Seattle, amazing i'm so happy that we got to go to the original starbucks the first ever starbucks that was our big highlight from today we had some really amazing food seattle has great food do not sleep on the food here in the coffee and then i got to show you our flight experience with delta yesterday really smooth flight we love the hotel the hyatt all of eight highly recommend this place the spa the steam room, the sauna, the gym, the rooms, the customer service, it's all been great. But now we need some rest because tomorrow we have another huge day because we embark on our seven night Alaskan cruise. I cannot wait. By the way, the cruise port is about 15 minutes away from our hotel. Honestly, we will probably Uber tomorrow just to make everything a little easier for us. Also, this is going to be my last upload for about eight or nine days because as you're watching this video, we are already on the cruise ship. So if you don't see any new uploads from me for a few days, just know we're on vacation and I plan on filming a lot and there's going to be a lot of new content and new videos once we make it back. I just can't wait to share this experience with you guys. We are both beyond excited and we are ready to make some memories and explore Alaska on a cruise ship. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I ain't feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the right. Fading it too slowly Were those gonna lift me up this time? You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me Am I reading something different from yours?